Hi everyone, good to see you. This time what we'll do is we'll practice a meditation more than a hypnosis style practice. And this time we'll do a practice on gratitude or feeling a sense of kindness towards other people. Uh, just a short note, meditation is slightly different to hypnosis. It's more about focusing the mind more than complete relaxation and it's also about generating an emotion so we'll be talking our way through it and through it we'll give you hints about how to generate that feeling and when that feeling generates stick with it that's the object of doing this training and just a disclaimer I'm not a meditation teacher I'm just passing on instructions. To find a proper meditation teacher, look up someone like I'm in Adelaide Meditation in Adelaide.org. Um, my teacher is uh, Kelsing Luma, um, and uh, I've personally found the secular Buddhist psychology very good at this stuff. So I'm just passing on instructions. So, in order to practice, get yourself comfortable in a quiet place for a few minutes. Your feet on the floor, fairly straight back, arms in your lap, hands in your lap. Traditionally your left hand's cupping or holding your right hand. And just lightly close your eyes over. And just settle on that breathing. That feeling of the breath coming in and out the nostrils. And with me we'll have three big breaths to start with. So a big breath in and hold and breathe it away. And another big breath in and hold and breathe it away. And another big breath in and hold and breathe it all away. Good. And just letting your breathing settle to a regular rate and a rhythm. It's not too fast or too slow. And with the first part of many meditations, we just start by concentrating on the breath for a few minutes. Just to settle the mind and the body. And bringing the mind's focus to the breath coming in through the nostrils. And out through the nostrils. And the secret to really concentrating on that breath is really focusing on the out breath. Just following that breath all the way through to the end of the out breath. Just noticing to yourself where the breath ends and the ne next breath that you breathe in begins. So really focusing on that out breath all the way to the end. And as you're breathing there, just being aware of your environment, the space you're in, the feeling of contact on the floor with your feet, maybe your legs, maybe if you're sitting on the floor, the thighs on the chair. The feeling of the backside on the seat. And the pressure of the hands in your lap. And if extra or any thoughts come into the mind as you're feeling or concentrating on these things, just say to yourself, thought. And let it pass away. 
and coming back to the breathing at the moment. And shortly as we begin to think of the things that we want to focus on tonight, if other thoughts or emotions intrude, which they always will, as the thought comes into the mind, again just saying to yourself, thought, and come back to the breathing or what you're focusing on. And if a strong emotion comes that you don't want, just label it emotion or feeling. And come back to the thought practice that we're doing. Or if that's tricky, just coming back to the breathing, just that feeling of the breath coming in through the nostrils. And really feeling that long breath out all the way to the end. Again, focusing on the very end of that breath. As you're there, focusing on the breath, I'd like you to think about today's practice of gratitude, and the feeling of thankfulness for all sorts of things. And we can focus on something very simple like the gratitude of having a body. Seems simple and obvious, but we do. And a mum and a dad had to get together and create it. Been grateful we have a mind to listen and understand. A nose to smell things, and eyes to see things. Most of us have a great immune system that can fight all sorts of things off, viruses, bacteria, keeping us healthy. Even things like just something as simple as a cup. Feeling gratitude that someone had to mine the clay. Someone had to transport the clay or the material. Someone had to make a mould for the cup. Make the cup. Transport the cup. Before we found it on a shelf and bought it maybe gave it as a present to someone. And a feeling of gratitude for things like people bought, built hospitals, medical centres. Feeling of feeling grateful for the builders who built it. We had the skills to build it. And someone gave those builders and construction workers the skills that they needed to do the job. Someone designed the hospital to work. Someone had to drive the trucks to build and bring the materials. And imagine all the things that had to happen for that to occur. Feeling grateful that the hospital's filled with people who can help us. People who want to help us. And nurses. And administrative staff that helps organise things. The doctors. cleaners, 
orderlies. All these people are kind enough to want to work there. You have at some level a very deep wish to help and to care. Also with gratitude have a feeling of kindness towards the people who taught those people the jobs and the skills that they need to have in order to do the job that they need to do. And those teachers had teachers before them. Even simple acts of gratitude which you might remember today, an act of kindness, Someone might have picked something up for you, made you a cup of tea. You might have done the same. Picked up a bit of litter. Picked up something that someone dropped. A simple act of kindness on your part that made their day better. And as you remember these things, let a feeling of gratefulness or gratitude come or at least be aware of it within the body. Imagine the faces of the people who are helping us as we help them. Let that feeling, the warmth of kindness and gratitude just be in your body. And as that feeling develops, just feel where that feeling is, where it starts, what it feels like as it goes a size, a shape, a warmth to it. And really let yourself just feel that feeling. If the feeling diminishes or changes, just going back to that original feeling or the thoughts of gratitude, all the things that have happened that have let you be where you are today in a good way. Stay with that feeling. And as you let that feeling sort of develop in your body, knowing that when we stop this practice, that feeling can continue and we can easily be reminded of that feeling every time we see something that helps us, gets us through our day. And we do the same for other people. Remembering that feeling of kindness and gratitude Just coming back to that feeling of the body, 
your temperature any feeling of air movement around you any smells and sounds the feeling of the breath coming in and following the breath all the way out Just letting your eyes slowly open. And I hope you enjoyed that practice of feeling gratitude and kindness. And please have a great day and be well.